Hey everyone, Combat Wombat here with a quick video overview of the first patch in this new development cycle for the open world sci-fi MMO, The Repopulation. In this video, I will be covering the major changes you will experience when you log in. If you are interested in a full list, I have linked below the patch notes and official announcement. First up, Getty Gorge and the Oan Region Timber Tool got a complete top to bottom redux. The clips I have playing of me and my mech are showing off this new zone. From a conversation I had with one of the devs, this was done at least partly to start testing technology and technique that will be used in the new training islands set to be released in the next patch, and ultimately the completely new game world the devs have been teasing with concept art. The Plymouth Control Center zone got what seems to be the largest non-code change in the patch, getting not only a complete facelift like Getty Gorge, but also a ton of new or highly modified building models for the platforms. Additionally, it got working elevators and doors, which is a first for Repop. The patch also promises at least some relief from zone transition crashing in the form of a fix for a skybox bug that caused guaranteed crashes when entering any of the raid dungeon caves around the world. Whether this fix will also give some relief to the more random open world crashes, we'll have to see. Some of the underlying code behind character creation and management has also received some love that will solve many bugs players have encountered, including a particularly nasty one that sometimes deleted multiple characters when you only tried to delete one. Inventory icon display got a fix. Items missing icons and items that had display issues are now fixed, so slightly less guessing is now involved in organizing your horde. And last, but far from least, is the much-anticipated combat overhaul. This does not change any abilities or balance, but is a near-complete overhaul of the way the game handles combat, targeting, and ability use. This eliminates all or most of the not-facing target, no line of sight, and most importantly the target not in range issue that had been plaguing the game since the last patch. This also revamps the auto-face on attack functionality. Here's a clip of me hopping around and shooting some things in FPR land. Everything feels silky smooth compared to the old feel of Repop Combat. I hope we see this kind of night and day difference in future overhauls of other systems IF has promised in their roadmap. Thanks for tuning in everyone. I plan to have one of these videos for every major patch and maybe some in between covering various topics including tutorials. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the patch and what videos you'd like to see in the future. See you all in game.